Okay guys, this is weekend celebration number three. I'm now gonna be starting to put these out once a month. I'm gonna turn up turn down the volume my parents are sleeping. Alright, so yeah. We're playing, we're going to be playing a total of seven games. Um, one that might be, um, done twice. So, um, this, as always, we always start off with the game of already smarter than a fifth grader back to school. So that's what we're going to do. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. We are happy to have you with us today. Let's find out. I'm are happy you to be here. Smarter than I'm a fifth happy to grader. be here, Jeff. All right, let me tell you how to play the game. Up on the board, there are going to be ten subjects. Questions range from the first grade through the fifth grade. First grade questions are worth $500. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000. If you miss a question, you'll drop down to $0, but you can build your cash back up from there. After you've answered all 10 questions, you can take whatever money you've got and walk away, or you can risk it all by answering the bonus question. If you get that one right, you're going to walk out of here with 10 times the amount of money you bank. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. <coughs> um, you know, since Katie's willing and able, I'm going to go with her. Alright, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. First grade U.S. history. Which of the following states was not one of the original 13 colonies? South Carolina, Vermont, Pennsylvania, or Delaware? Wow. A first grade question that is hard. We've never even learned this. Your classmate thing. is locked in. Well, I know, um, I'm just gonna take a peek. Let's just sneak a peek here at your classmate's answer. Because I have no idea. She says Vermont, and I'm going to go with Vermont. Now's the time to lock it. You just won yourself $500. Phew. It's better than having to go with one of my answers. Just hope I use my cheats wisely. King Tut Ankh Hamun or Tut was a pharaoh of which country? If that's the answer, Egypt. That's it. That's the right answer. Oh yeah. yeah. I am nailing this game. By the way, here's the case. Which subject do you want? Um, second grade astronomy. What do tell tell us to eh, what do telescopes do in order to want to see distant stars? Change light, obscure light, cleft light, or disperse light? If that's the answer you want to go with, well, I don't know what obscure light means, but I'm going with it. it. That is incorrect. <laughs> Well, I didn't really know what it was. After the game, you are on your own, but right now, the fifth graders can help you. And the fifth graders have done it again. Oh. You want yourself $1,000. Looks like you're... 
It's time to pick another classmate. Bob or David? Let's go with Bob. Which subject do you want? U.S. Geography. In what state is Mount Rushmore located? South Dakota, Minnesota, North Dakota, or Iowa? If that's... This ain't the first time your instincts have led you astray, is it? <laughs> and the correct answer is... South Dakota. Pick your next subject. Languages. What is the Spanish word for eat? Ah. Oh. Your classmate is now locked in. Now's the. This ain't the first time your instincts have led you astray. I am not doing so good. <laughs> Show us the correct answer, please. Oh my God. Pick your next subject. Earth science. What do we call a body of water that connects two larger bodies of water? Now, wow. You know, I thought it would take you a lot longer to come up with the wrong answer. Oh. What's the correct answer? You're down to... Let's pick a subject. What is the largest city in the United Kingdom? You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Finally! I'm running money back. What is improved by doing anaerobic exercises? Your classmate is locked in off. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. That very well could be the right answer, but it's not. <laughs> And the correct answer is... I was going to say that, but I wasn't sure. Uh. Pick your next subject. What does a cyto cytologist study? Um... I had to use it. Reptiles. All right, your answer's locked in. There are some questions even fifth graders can't answer. <laughs> Show us the correct answer, please. Cells. Here's the bad news. You've used all your cheats. Your classmates can no longer help you. Okay, this is the last subject. Let's see if you got the right answer. But first, we gotta take a break. No, I'm just fooling around. <laughs> you won $5,000. Yeah. Well, 5000 is at least good.
I'm just gonna take a look at this, but if I don't get it right, then I'm sorry. A stratovolcano primarily, consi primarily consists of layers of lava and what powdery substance? Well, in the next part, I will try to solve that answer. Stay tuned. We'll be right back for the second part of weekend celebration number three.